Hi everyone, I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and thank you for joining me for this live broadcast where we're going to be discussing blank apparel that's going to be a huge hit for the fall season coming up um, and where you can source them. So it's all about what wholesalers are offering the best blank apparel that's going to be easy to decorate with your heat press whether you're heat printing or screen printing or embroidering, these are pieces of apparel that are going to be accessible to you so that you can profit the most with your customers. I see some of you commenting in. Hi, Kathy, Megan, and Brandy. Thank you guys so much for commenting in. I'm interested to see where everyone is joining me from. So go ahead and comment in where you are joining in the live broadcast. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of apparel here, and this is really just scratching the surface of all the types of apparel that are out there that you're gonna be able to decorate no matter the market. All right, so we're gonna be starting off with some sports apparel. All right, so if you are decorating team jerseys, one trend we're seeing across the board for team jerseys is um, adding patterns into the actual piece of apparel so that you have something to correlate your name and number with. All right, so if I'm uh, doing this for a maroon, white, and silver, this would be ideal for me. I can pop metallic silver numbers on this and really create a standout piece for um, a local football team. So you'll notice one thing with jerseys is whatever uh, high school teams are seeing in the professional world or in the collegiate sports world, they really want to mimic that. They want to have jerseys that are going to look as close to that as possible. But as a decorator, you also want to keep those costs down so that you can source something that's not going to break the bank for the customer that's purchasing from you. Teamwork Athletic is great at replicating those collegiate and professional styles in their jerseys. So you can see the tight sleeve here that's very popular because it really wraps around those pads and creates an all-around fitter look that's going to uh, slim down everything instead of be very boxy. All right, and that is the style that we're seeing in the professional teams and the collegiate teams. Another popular uh, item, again, we're still seeing a lot of pattern in this. This is a dye sub garment, and this is uh, sourced from Sanmar. This is a Sport Tech brand. So you can see this really unique pattern in this. And Sport Tech does this really well. It's 100% polyester, so we're able to print this uh, with a heat press just fine. And we're going to be able to print this without getting any dye migration. So there are transfers out there that we can utilize to avoid any dye migration through our transfer. There have been many times where we're printing on uh, items such as this where we're doing a white graphic and this pattern just starts coming through that transfer completely. So some transfers you're gonna wanna look for are a silicone dye block. It blocks that um, dyed sublimated, um, uh, sublimated ink, there we go, dyed sublimated ink from migrating through that graphic. So if you are printing any patterns such as these that have the dye sublimation, be sure to use a dye blocking material. Okay, so those are three of the most uh, popular things that we're seeing. It's patterns across the board in football jerseys, in a soccer jerseys or warm-up gear, and then also in uh, a, another warm-up set or uh, fan wear, okay? So these are still very big. I know they were last year too, and we just keep coming up with new uh, additions to that, okay? Another thing that we're seeing, not only in sportswear, but also uh, just outerwear across the board in retail, are coaches jackets, which is really unique uh, and something new that is definitely trending. So one thing that I've noticed whenever we're doing research on all this popular apparel is that we're going back. So we're like looking back to move ahead. We're doing a lot of very uh, retro style garments, and this is one of them. Uh, a couple, I think in this, actually it was the spring apparel trends that I did, we had a bomber jacket and it was made from the same material and that was an old style of jacket that they kind of recreated to uh, give customers that look and feel. So coaches jackets are something that are trending again, adding bold prints on the left chest or the back and this is sourced from Bella Canvas, okay? So if I skip over anywhere that any of the garments of where they were um, sourced, just go ahead and comment that in. 
Okay. All right. So our next app um, garment style that is very trendy for the fall season is the varsity stylings. Okay. So you can see this one here has a very Americana theme to it. And you can get this in just a couple other colors, but this is sourced from Sanmar as well. And this is an alternative apparel brand. Okay, so they added a uh, piping to the pocket here for just an additional um, dimension or color to add to that. Okay, so piping is very popular. Varsity stylings, which incorporate uh, striping so that you're able to use these colors in your graphic and just really be able to mix and match there. Okay, again, this is from Sanmar, and that is the alternative apparel brand. This is one of my favorite favorites, because it's taking three different trendy styles and incorporating it into one. So we have the varsity stylings on the sleeve where we have the striping, and then we have a scuba neck, or cow neck, if you will. Okay, so that's where the neck actually kind of comes up as a loose turtleneck type fit. And then it has the electric heather threaded throughout this garment. So it has the dimension, it has the varsity stylings, and it has that high neck that's very popular. And I love how they used a different color for the string in this hood to complement the stripes on this sleeve. So we'll actually be decorating this today. I know we were talking about all blank apparel, but I did want to show you an actual application at the heat press. I will show you a unique way that you can um, print a style like this so that you can make the most profit out of it. Okay, so, so far we've gone over uh, two trends, the patterns in sportswear and then varsity stylings. Next we have unique types of garments that are trending in retail and that we can start printing for our customers for fan wear. So the first one I have is boxer craft and you can see that the sleeves fall off to the side, okay? So if someone were wearing this, this is how it would look. All right, this is called a cold shoulder t-shirt, all right? So these are very popular. Um, you don't want to go too in depth with this, like you definitely wanna stop offering this after fall because this is gonna become something that is not going to be wearable to them into winter. So whenever you're thinking about this, uh, it's definitely a summer into fall trend. So this is something that you should start selling whenever the weather is still very warm outside and if they're attending uh, football games in a warm area. So consider your demographic as well. We would probably stop wearing this here in Pennsylvania uh, probably mid-September, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, another popular one is a bodysuit, okay? So this looks a lot like a leotard or a swimsuit. Uh, and this is just 100% cotton, but le uh, these bodysuits are gonna be huge because they're easy for layering. I can just slip on a pair of jeans or shorts or skirt over this and then uh, layer a jacket over top of it, okay? So this is thin and lightweight, so whenever they wanna layer things, they don't have to worry about anything being too bulky or getting too hot. All right, so I can easily create a big graphic here for the center chest, maybe using a foil or the new metallic so that something really pops off of this black. Okay, this is sourced from Bella Canvas. If you're looking for an all-around wholesaler, Sanmar offers Bella Canvas as well as SNS Activewear. Okay, so you can see the back. It drops down a little further, so it's a little bit of a scoop in the back. All right, so nothing too fancy. It does have that center seam that goes down, you can't really see with the light, the light might be picking it up a little bit. But that center seam is a very popular addition. Instead of having just two seams on the side, they add an additional one in the back just for a little something extra for dimension. Okay, so those are two unique garments that are seen a lot in retail and you definitely wanna consider offering your customers for fan wear because whatever they see in retail is definitely something they want you to be able to offer them as well. Okay, for the next one, we're moving pretty quickly, so if you guys have any questions, please comment in. Okay, the next one is a hoodie from Burnside. 
Okay, so this is kind of a uh, new brand in that it's not something we usually show in any of our lives or classes or videos. So Burnside is a uh, source from SNS Activewear, and they do a ton of almost retail ready garments. But of course, we want to be able to profit by printing personalization or custom prints on a hoodie like this. So why this is popular? Well, we have a heathered solid uh, color here, and then a tonal lighter gray that has heather throughout it as well. Okay, so this is I believe a 100% cotton, but the cotton is nice and thin, so it's a very lightweight, right? So this is from Burnside. It has that raglan type of effect where the sleeves are meeting the hood here, and then there is a hood. And I just love how they even went uh, an, a little, the extra mile uh, pretty much with adding a different type of gray in here with it so that the strings really pop out as well. All right, so for this, I would do a really nice tonal effect if you're using matte clear or if you just get a gray heat transfer vinyl and press it on there. Okay, so subtle is very nice whenever you're working with um, garments that pretty much sell themselves. Okay, so with that, so that's kind of like a little bit of a retro style as is this one. So this one's very unique and actually one of my favorites that Samar started offering whenever they brought on New Era. Okay, so this is a New Era brand and I just love the color blocking that they did in this. So they have the black type of uh, raglan top and then they go into the white sleeve and then add more black where they have the ribbed cuff. Okay, so solid white piece. I can print, print pretty much just about anything on this because it's just a solid white. And we actually printed it oh, this way. <laughs> um, this shirt back here with the Cedar Valley Hornets on there. Same exact shirt, just gray and black. And you can see how that yellow even pops off of there, okay? So just, that's just one way to think about designs that I would um, wanna put on there. All right, so I do see a comment coming in from Kristen. Where was the cold shoulder top from? That is from Boxercraft, and I'm just seeing Denise answer that for me, so thank you, Denise. Okay, so for the next one, this is another new era top, okay? And this is unique because it has a uh, piping all the way around the sleeve, around the collar, and then also the pocket, okay? So those are, uh, this is like a two-dimensional type of uh, garment because of all of those colors. So it goes all the way around the hood and the collar and then the sleeves. So the back is a racer back style, which is very popular. It's a thin, lightweight garment. So it's going to be ideal for those uh, customers that love athleisure and garments that they can wear all throughout the day and even to the gym if they want to, okay? So this is like a sweatshirt style with cut off sleeves. And it is kind of like a tunic because it does go very long. So you can easily pair this with a pair of leggings if you want to uh, source an outfitted look. Okay, so this is also new era and they are great with offering stuff that is retail ready. That way you can profit easily by just adding a little bit of customization to it. Okay, so again, purchase from Sanmar and a new era brand. Right, we are still going, still no questions. So, so far, we went through sports, varsity styling, unique retail ready garments, and then our retro color blocking styles. Okay, so getting into more retro, these are garments that we've seen in the past and are being reused, okay? So this is the ever so famous Ringer Tee. Okay, so this has the uh, piping around the sleeve and the collar, and this is an alternative brand. Okay, so again, purchased from Sanmar, and this is just a staple uh, in apparel these days because it was so popular, I believe, 70s into 80s, and now we're seeing it uh, be incorporated into a lot of retail now. Okay, so this is a very soft blend. I believe it's a tri-blend. Um, incorporating a little bit of rayon, but not so much rayon that we are uh, getting into any scorching problems. Okay, so they offer this in a variety of different colors, so I definitely urge you to go on there and check it out. 
Earlier I mentioned Boxer Craft. They're also offering a 100% cotton ringer tee. So if you're looking for 100% cotton, Boxer Craft does offer that as well. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites because it's incorporating mesh, that vintage jersey line at the top, and then our varsity stylings, okay? So these jerseys were popular a while back but they used to be so boxy and they were they were 100% poly mesh. Okay, so we went from 100% poly mesh to poly spandex, which is going to be similar to this jersey behind me here. So they got it to be softer, but it was still a little bit heavy. This one is a very lightweight because it incorporates a little bit of rayon and I can personalize this with just about any heat transfer vinyl that I have if it's applying at 300 degrees or lower because this isn't dyed. I don't have to worry about anything like that. So I can do this with Glitter Flake. I can do it with regular fashion film or Premium Plus. Okay, so this was sourced from Blue 84. That's the brand and it was ordered from SNS Activewear. Okay, so they offer Blue 84 there. So if you're looking to source something like this that's very thin and lightweight and very slinky, this is going to be your go-to, especially for fan wear because it just screams jersey or faux jersey. Okay, so all back is completely mesh, so you don't have to worry about any seams there. And then, um, that has that high seam there for the varsity or uh, vintage jersey look. So whenever you're pressing this, one thing you want to keep in mind is this seam because it can cause uneven pressure if you're doing either a left chest or a center chest. You want to make sure you're going below that enough and dropping that seam off the platen or even inserting a heat printing pillow. Okay, so I have a heat printing pillow over here on the press actually for one of the applications that we'll be doing and that helps me print near seams and still get even pressure. So I'll dive into more um, description whenever we get to that application. Okay, this is still very popular. It has that Americana theme as well. So earlier we were talking about varsity stylings and how this one has a very Americana theme. That's very popular, red, white, and blue for any col uh, customers, customers, colors, and for any schools that you can easily incorporate this into. However, alternative apparel is very good at thinking about all the decorators and the opportunities that you can have with a style like this. So they do offer this uh, without the pattern sleeve, or if you are looking for a pattern sleeve, they offer it in camo as well. So do keep that in mind. This one has been on the San Mar site for a while um, and it just continues to trend. People love this garment. They sell out of it so quickly and there have been times where I've actually been shopping and seen it, well online shopping, I haven't actually seen it in store in person yet, but I see that garment there and I'm just like, I know exactly where they got that garment from. <laughs> All right, so that completes our retro division. Um, let's go ahead and check some questions before I move on. Where was that one from again? A white with orange tan. Okay, so that was the ringer tee, and you can source that from uh, Sanmar under the alternative apparel brand. And then if you are looking for a 100% cotton ring and ringer tee, you can get that from Boxercraft. All right. For our next section, and I like to call this the easy breezy section because it incorporates mesh into just about everything and some also really cool um, strap, uh, unique strappings, okay? So these leggings, and these are being seen in just about every retail store at this point, are leggings, athletic leggings with mesh incorporated into them, okay? So I don't know if you can see that. I'll actually turn on the GoPro so that you can see the mesh in that legging. Okay, so that has um, a really unique effect because this is what people are looking for whenever they're shopping. They like having that breathable mesh there for just to hang out in, to go shopping in, or to work out in. So athleisure fits multiple markets. People love being more comfortable than not, so being able to offer a legging that has that popular effect to it with that mesh 
is going to increase your profitability with this. This is for, sourced from SNS Activewear, and I believe I'm pronouncing this right, Soybu. All right, so I hope I didn't totally butcher that, but that is the brand, and they offer a variety of unique um, athleisure apparel that incorporates mesh. Okay, so for instance, they offer a jacket that has a nice mesh piping down the hood and down the back of this jacket. Okay, and these are polyester garments, so I know I'm gonna be able to heat press these. Now, this is so thin and lightweight that I do wanna be careful um, when I'm choosing what transfer is going to go on these. You wanna do something that's very low temp, something as low as 280 to 265. Okay, so make sure you're using very low temp applications because we do not want a chance scorching these garments. They are definitely higher end, so it's lucrative that we're using the right type of transfer for these. Okay? All right, so that is our mesh. And then another, that jacket was also from Soybu, and that was sourced from SNS Activewear. And another popular garment that they are creating is a twisted strap racer back. And this is being layered with strappy sports bra. So if you're thinking about outfitting and creating packaged pieces, think about a strappy sports bra that would really complement uh, going underneath this. Because when people are working out or they're just doing their day-to-day -day, uh, things, they're wearing things like this, okay? And just putting a cute little sports bra under that. Completely blank in the front, so I have all of this room to work with. And then there is a little reflective um, logo here for Soybu. But I would, if I was decorating, I would want to complement the reflective that they, that they already have on the garment. So I would probably do high-vis color reflect on there for something special effect and popular. Okay, another unique athleisure item that's not from Soybu but is from Ogio is this Henley t-shirt. So it is 100% polyester and it has a really cool um, like mesh inside. So you're getting like a two-tone where it's white and gray inside and then um, gray, a lot more gray outside than there is white. But you get a very uh, texturized look with this and it's very easy to personalize with because it's just that 100% polyester. So now I can just load that right onto my heat press, apply my transfer and I'll have a completed look. Okay, so again, this is from Ogio. This would work anywhere from corporate wear to school faculty to local business. This is something that they can wear all around and be very comfortable in. One for the men's in the athleisure division is a color block quarter zip, all right? So it has a nice heathered top and then a solid bottom okay so we're getting that really cool seam that people love in color blocking and in retail and then it has just a really nice collar and zipper to it this is a very nice zipper it's actual metal not plastic and then it has a rubberized zipper on it so you're getting that very athletic look and feel to it okay so a lot of room to work with on the back and the sleeves there are no difficult seams to get around whenever you're working with that stuff because the seam is so low. So you'll be able to do a lot with this garment, okay? This is a Augusta sportswear and Augusta sportswear garment. So you can source that from the Transfer Express website because they do sell Augusta now, okay? Then getting into more of the comfy stuff, which is still considered athleisure, but it's not 100% polyester. This is a uh, cotton poly blend, and this is from Alternative Apparel. So joggers are still the talk of the town whenever it comes to athleisure apparel. They love the tight ankles with the rest of it being pretty baggy. So you can see that it starts to taper in the leg and then it gets to a nice tight ankle there. So that is what the difference is between a jogger and just a regular pair of sweatpants. And you can see that they added piping to the sides, which is very popular. Okay, so if you can get any added color from your garment, that's just gonna build the profit for your uh, decoration that you're adding to it as well. Okay, does have a pocket here that you wanna be aware of whenever you're loading this onto your garment. 
just pulling that pocket out to avoid that from causing, causing uneven pressure if you're printing the leg of this um, is going to allow you to be able to print that with ease. Okay, so that is our jogger from Alternative Apparel. Very popular for fall because the weather's starting to cool down and they're gonna start getting into wearing things such as that. This is one of my favorites that came out earlier in 2018 and I just see being a huge hit for the fall fan wear season. Okay, so it has this unique braided, um, I guess you would call it just a string, <laughs> uh, unique braided string that you would just tie a little bow here once it's on and then this is a cotton poly blend, so all I have to do is just pick a heat transfer vial that applies at a nice low temperature, and I can decorate this with ease. Okay, so it does have a very unique look in that it's not just one solid color. It kind of picks up a light gray and a dark gray, and you can see that that's kind of like a um, roughly washed type of color whenever we're close to the seams and then also the braid. I think that just adds even more dimension to this garment, allowing for this to be a very unique piece and something that's gonna sell off the racks like crazy. Okay, another one is our uh, just basic crew neck sweatshirt. This is one that I picked because this is offered in really unique patterns as well. So I definitely urge you to go on to SNS Activewear and look at this crew neck because it is so soft and it's going to be perfect for a Friday night football game or tailgating, okay? So it's very warm. I can easily layer this with a flannel or polo underneath if I want to just to add a little something extra. Okay, and then just a, you have so much room to work with. It does have that raglan sleeve style where the seam is meeting the collar as opposed to on the shoulder. So it's gonna be an all around more comfortable fit. Okay, uh, Rosemary asks, where is the shirt with the braid on it? It is from Boxer Craft. And the manufacturer with the gray Henley T, Sanmar, capital S-A-N, capital M-A-R. One word. And um, it is the Ogio brand, so that's O-G-I-O. -O. Right, and this is to me a really cool look because it does have two totally, three totally contrasting colors. We have white, we have gray, and then we have an olive green. Okay, so you can't really tell from the camera there, maybe just a little bit, a hint of gray in here which complements what they're doing here for this polo part and this gray inside of the buttons. Um, but it has gray striping all throughout this and it comes in multiple colors as well. Okay, so you're able to uh, use this for multiple schools if you need to. Okay, so this is alternative apparel and again, sourced from Sanmar. Okay. So all of the items that I show, that is the last one of my adult uh, clothing items, but we're able to get this in um, juniors to uh, adult, okay? So then we start to think, where am I going to source infant to toddler styles of garments that are still very popular and trendy that I can use? Right, and I have a few here sourced from Cavio. Cavio does children's apparel so well, and they always keep the decorator in mind. So you can see the uh, red color blocking and striping and uh, piping that I have all in one onesie. So this would be perfect to offer in my shop to show, hey, I'm able to do children's apparel. I can add whatever you want to this garment. Cavio is very well priced. It's spelled K-A-V-I-O and they do very trendy children's apparel. That's really what they're known for. Okay, this is a, a raglan tee where we have a solid front, striped sleeves, and then completely striped in the back. And then they do just basic t-shirts in a ton of different colors. If you're looking for other uh, infant or toddler clothing, Rabbit Skins does very well. They're available on Sanmar and SNS Activewear as well. 
Okay, so just to double check before we get into our demonstrations, do we have any questions? They were asking about the catalog, Sanmar catalog. The Sanmar catalog or all the good. Some of them are, some of them aren't, Kristen, regarding if all of these garments are going to be in the Sanmar catalog. Uh, a lot of these brands are sourced from SNS Activewear, so you will see some of them, but you will want to check out SNS Activewear for a few others as well. If there are any specific ones you guys want me to repeat, just let me know, or you can just comment in and I can, or direct message us, and we can give you the answer to that after the broadcast. All right, so for our demonstrations, uh, we are going to do a uh, striping on a tank top. So this tank top has a very raw edge, so the seam is not going to get in the way of me getting a nice pressure here. The only seam I really have to worry about is the seam that's on side of this tank top. And that's exactly why we have the heat printing pillow under here to ensure that we're still going to get a nice even pressure whenever we're applying our striping. Okay, so again, this tank is from Bella Canvas. It's thin and lightweight, so it's gonna be very, very popular. And by doing these open stripes on here, I'm not putting anything too heavy. And then of course, I have my custom print down here just to add a little bit more profitability to the striping that we have. All right, I'm going to grab my cover sheet here and cover my application. And I'm just applying glitter flakes so I can apply that at 302 degrees for 15 seconds. All right, so with the air fusion, it takes the pressure in, uh, into consideration. I have that pillow in there, so it's automatically adjusting my pressure because the press is totally automated. And um, it's just gonna go ahead and release after it counts down my time. My glitter flake is a hot peel, so I can go ahead and peel that back. Being very careful that I don't lift anything too much. Okay. One more carrier. Almost forgot. All right, so that is an easy way to add what's very popular in apparel to a garment. So this is just adding striping ourselves so that we can get the profitability out of a blank garment. One thing that I'm not that we're noticing in retail is, sorry, I'm trying to hold this so that you can see it. One thing we're noticing in retail is things are becoming more and more blank and there are subtle little logos or customization to the garment. But for the most part, people like just wearing blank stuff. So if we can add subtle prints that aren't going to take up too much of the garment, that is going to add a lot of profitability. People are going to want to buy something that looks more blank than it is personalized. But being able to do this is going to allow us to do a uh, personalization and still profit from pieces such as these popular tank tops from Bella Canvas, okay? All right, so I'm seeing some questions. Uh, what brand is the light colored crew sweatshirt? That is alternative apparel from Sanmar. And is that it? Looks like it. Okay. Yes, that is a tri blend Bella tank top. So I didn't have to worry about that scorching because we did drop the temp of our glitter flake from 320 to 302. So I'm able to apply that without any risk of getting a big box mark on my tank top. Right, so you can see how to utilize that pillow so that you're able to get a nice even pressure around seams and you're still able to print around them. For our next application, we're going to be printing one of those striped uh, varsity stylings hoodie from J America. And I'm just going to pop in my 11 by 15 platen so that I'm only working with one surface area of the hoodie. We're gonna be doing a really unique print using two special effect um, heat transfer vinyls. 
and the reason I'm using my 11 by 15 is because I want to just work with this part of my hoodie and have this pocket just drop off the back so that it's not going to cause uneven pressure for me. All right, I want to make sure that my seam is coming off the top of this platen, but I still want to make sure I'm nice and center. So I'm going to bring up my sleeves and make sure that my seams are falling equally to the side. So first we're going to be using flock two. And I'm just going to tack that for five seconds. And flock is a cold peel, so I'll actually peel that back from the platen for a few seconds, probably several seconds there, just so that it can get some cold air to it and not stay under on that hot platen. One thing I did forget to do was preheat, so make sure um, whenever you are heat printing, you are preheating your garment beforehand just to release any moisture or wrinkles. All right, so whenever I'm peeling my flock, I want to make sure that it's not being distorted or anything. So I'm going to slowly peel this back because I have something that needs to line up directly with this split text. Okay, and it's going to be my adhesive. Adhesive is a heat activated glue that allows foil to adhere to it. So whenever I place this, you're going to see how transparent it is or translucent because it's still a little bit milky there. And I'm just going to line this up with my split text. You want to make sure you're tacking that flock. It not only speeds up your production time, but it also allows the heat transfer vinyl to not shrink too much underneath that high heat. Okay, you can see a little bit, well, I can to my eye right now, where the flock did distort a little bit because I was peeling a little too fast. But I can just move this around a little bit and try to get that to match up as much as possible. That's one thing you need to keep in mind whenever you're working with product that can stretch a little bit whenever you are peeling the carrier back. Okay. All right, so I'll cover with my cover sheet, especially since I have a heat transfer vinyl that ex is exposed on there. I only want that to tack for just a few seconds because I need to apply foil. So I'm just going to hit those buttons again so that it will release early. Adhesive is a hot peel so I can peel the carrier back, be making sure that it's not going to distort. Okay, so I'm going to pull upward so that it's not distorting if I pull corner to corner. And then all I need to do is apply my foil. All the while I'm doing the adhesive and foil application, I am getting all of the dwell time I need for my flock to apply completely. All right, so I'll apply this for 10 seconds. And then after that is done applying, foil is a cold pill, so we'll wait for that to cool and peel that back. We found that split text is very popular whenever it comes to fan wear apparel. So being able to take advantage of that split text artwork and mix up a couple different medias, especially if it's two special effect applications, that it's going to yield a lot higher of a profit. All right, again, this hoodie is from J America, and I'm going to put this back on the platen so that you can see the uh, effect that it has whenever I peel the foil back. Okay, so you can see that foil really shines. I'm getting a lot of texture from my flock and I'm getting even more dimension from the shiny foil. Okay, so that's just red foil and you can see how nicely it pairs with the red on the hoodie and the strings.
Okay. Can't tell if I'm straight. Am I holding it crooked or is it crooked? Looks like it's straight. Okay, so that is all that we have today. That's our last demonstration. We will be back on the morning show on Monday showing how you can create a split text like that in a free online artwork program called cadworkslive.com. So we'll show you how to create that in CADWorks, final cut it, and do a unique heat application using two totally different mixed media products. So be sure to join Zach Ellsworth and I at 11 a.m. Monday morning. Thank you so much for joining.